I told the superintendent, I'm, I hadn't realized how involved our police were in these city uh, crime events, and we're putting together a bill for the city manager so that we can get reimbursed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hear his response. <laughs> Um, I want to introduce uh, the city manager, and, and let me say from the beginning, uh, on the major acquisitions that we've had, and you all know the manager is a, a graduate of, uh, of the university, a 1978 uh, graduate, as I was. He also has a master's degree from UMass Amherst. But uh, on each of our uh, acquisitions that we've made, I remember going to see the manager, it must have been a year and a half before we acquired the, uh, the uh, Inn and Conference Center. And uh, the same thing with this building, we've been talking about it for a long time, but didn't know if it was really going to happen. Uh, but the manager has been a great partner with, uh, with the university. And in fact, uh, he and I have gone out and met with uh, folks in the neighborhood, talked about establishing, which we will, a task force uh, to engage the neighborhood in, uh, in our efforts here. Uh, but he's been a fabulous supporter of the university. And, and, and I just want to say I, I'm a real advocate for the university. He's a real advocate for the city. And, we protect each other's interest, uh, the, the organizations that we represent. But on the, on the other hand, I don't think there's been a time in the history of this city when the, where the city and the university was working so cooperatively together, meeting the challenges that, uh, that, that Lowell faces and the university faces. And I think that it comes from a recognition that we understand at the university, as Lowell goes, so goes the university. We're connected to Lowell. We're connected to the downtown. And the same thing is true with the university. When the university does well, Lowell does well. So I just want to introduce uh, the city manager who's been involved with us uh, in this from the beginning and thank him for all of his efforts uh, on this project, but also other projects as well. City Manager Bernie Lynch. Thank you very much, Chancellor, and uh, please send me that bill uh, for the police services. We'll be happy to take it off of your tax bill. <laughs> City. Uh, and generally, this is where I would make uh, a couple jokes about uh, how Marty is uh, buying up all the, the buildings in the city. And uh, and but uh, but let me tell you, this this really is a very exciting day for the for the city to have. Uh, this has uh, been identified a landmark building here in the city, being acquired and being put to really. Uh, the type of use that we need here in the city and we certainly need here in the in the neighborhood and I'm joined here today by Adam Bakey our assistant city manager for planning and development and uh, Adam can certainly tell you how important this building is and how important it is for the city as a whole but certainly for this neighborhood you know when I first became city manager I think by, within the first month I had my first meeting up here with a developer that wanted to come in wanted to buy it wanted to uh, turn it into productive use and um, that went nowhere and I think then we I came up here a couple more times with developers that were interested in doing things and it just it couldn't seem to work and uh, it really needed an institution with the strength and the vision of the university to step forward and and make this project a reality so that's why it's so exciting to be here today and to see what's happening here with the uh, in this neighborhood with the private investment that's taking place with the plans of John Dyer Credit Union to uh, to locate a new building here in the, the neighborhood the, uh, the nonprofits that are in this area, the Coalition for Better Acre, the uh, House of Hope, uh, the uh, Lowell Housing Authority with the investments that all of those organizations are making with a very active, uh, newly formed but active neighborhood organization. There's just a lot of energy and a lot of excitement here. And we see also the, the importance of the public investment. We see the work that the delegation uh, did in helping us get the funding for the new bridge. Uh, that uh, will be going in. Uh, Representatives Murphy, Nangle, Golden, uh, and certainly Senator Pangiotakis in making that project a reality. Uh, that will open up this entire uh, area uh, to, uh, to uh, traffic, the good traffic, the type of pedestrian activity, the type of vehicular traffic that will bring people into this area and really push that economic development forward. And I know that working with Senator Donahue, we're going to continue to see that same type of partnership. So it's very exciting for me to be here today to see this project move forward, to see the connection of uh, all of the campuses, to see the university continuing to make a, uh, an important, uh, uh, important investment in our city. Uh, you know, I, I've said uh, at other times that 
I did graduate in 1978 when the, uh, the university, I think we were the first university class, actually. Uh, up until that time, it had been Lowell State and Lowell Tech, but it was a very exciting time for the university to, uh, with the merger of, the, uh, of uh, Lowell Tech and Lowell State uh, College. Uh, and so that's what really drew me at the time to, uh, to Lowell to go to school, was uh, being part of that university being formed. But while I was here, I saw the excitement that was taking place in the city with the National Park locating here, the revitalization taking place. There was just so much, again, energy taking place. And I'm happy to say that, uh, you know, with what the university has been doing over the past three years under uh, Chancellor Mann, and what's uh, taking place here in the city, or that has been for the, all of that period of time, but particularly the past few years with the Hamilton Canal District and so many other uh, important projects moving forward, I see that same sense of energy. And this is really a city on the move. Uh, it has been for 30 plus years, uh, and it continues to move forward. And uh, I'm just uh, thrilled to be part of this and to be thrilled to, uh, to be here and be working with so many great people. So I want to thank uh, the Chancellor. I want to thank everyone here today. Uh, and um, we're, we're anxious to see this uh, come to reality. Thank you.